Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are here again in the baby barn because we are hatching quail eggs. And today is day 10, so the 10th day since they've gone in the incubator. And we're going to candle them and see if they're fertile or fertilized. We will see if anyone is developing. So the first thing you want to do is get your incubator on a nice stable surface. Remember, it should be on a stable surface all the time. Now what I do is I actually have them on a shelf beneath here. I have this little cart that I have built for putting my incubators on in this room. I have bigger incubators that are not in here. But in this room, I have a cart that holds my four incubators that are in the baby barn here. So put your incubator on a stable surface. I have unplugged my incubator just for a few minutes. A few minutes of being unplugged will not hurt your eggs. Okay, it is fine for a few minutes. So we are going to remove the top of the incubator. And we have our six eggs. Remember, these are six eggs from a very particular hen. That's why they are hatching by themselves instead of with anybody else. I only wanted her six eggs hatching alone. So six eggs, that's it. So now what you're going to need is you're going to need an egg candler. Now I have this one here, okay? I will provide a link in the description to a candler. You can use your flashlight, yes you can. I don't like using a flashlight and I do not like using the, the light on my phone. It's not as good. I like this guy because he's wicked bright and he has this little cap that goes on to really concentrate that light and it's really good for quail eggs because they're so little and they can be difficult to candle anyway. So you want something nice and bright, either a candler or a really bright flashlight. Now. Try to get a candler like this that's free holding, that not one that's on a stand where you have to place the egg upside down on the candler. That's not great for them. When you candle, you want to be above the egg so that you kind of keep these guys big end up or big end sideways. You do not want to be putting the big end down. So big end up or big end sideways. And that's where a free standing, uh, free holding candler can come in handy. So now what we need to do is we need to dim the lights. So I'm just going to turn the lights off. Now I still have light coming in through the window and I'm just going to kind of stand in the way to block it. Forgive the darkness, it's important. The darker it is, the better. So turning on my candler again, see, nice bright candler. And what you want to do is you want to take your egg, okay, you want to hold it in your hand, Take your candler and kind of press gently, 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 <laughs> very, very gentle, press that egg into the uh, end of your candler. So the fat end goes right there. So gentle, gentle. You might have difficulty seeing. I'll just see if I can move my fingers. So if you look, you can see that it's dark down here. Okay, but there's a light kind of circular area at the top. That's the air sac, and when it's dark down here, that means there's a baby in there. There's a baby developing, so that egg is good. If it was entirely bright, if the entire egg was as bright as that little circle at the top, then it would be no good. So that egg is good. I haven't candled these before right now, so I don't know. That egg is also good. You see that little circle at the top? That's a good egg. Remember, gentle quail eggs. So this one looks like it started to develop because it's a lot brighter, but it does have a darker spot down here. Looks like it started to develop. And to be honest, I'm not sure it stopped. So there's a chance that this one's still developing. So I'm actually just gonna move that one to that side because that one I'm not sure of. That one developed, but maybe has stopped. So it's just gonna move over there. This one is definitely developing. Ooh, careful. Don't drop your eggs like that, don't do that. So this one, uh, yes, it's developing. It's a little bit brighter, but I think it's fine. And this one again, we have that little circle at the top. That's the air sac. So this one is developing and is on track. So the only one I have a question about is this one. Okay, because it's a little bit brighter, but it possibly still has a little baby in there. 
So we're just gonna separate that one out and I'll turn the lights back on. So we're just gonna separate this one guy out because he maybe has stopped developing. It's day 10 and they go into lockdown at day 14. So I'll check him again right before lockdown, which again, I will film. And if he's not further along than that, if he hasn't caught up with these guys, he's garbage. That means he started developing and then stopped. Now I do not have an egg that did not develop, but an egg that didn't develop will be really bright when you candle it. Okay, the light will pass all the way through because there's nothing stopping it. So I didn't have one like that today. That's a good thing. <laughs> that means all of my eggs at least started to develop. These five are definitely on track. This one is a question mark, but we're going to leave it anyway. So once you're done candling, put your lid back on your incubator, okay? Remember when you're candling with quail eggs because you want to be really gentle because remember, quail eggs are really delicate. So when you're putting your quail egg onto your candler, don't press, okay? With chicken eggs, you can do a little bit of pressing and it doesn't damage the egg. With a quail egg, if you put it on there and you push, that eggshell's gonna collapse. So be very gentle, just touch it to the egg, gently, gently, gently. It's really important that you're super gentle with quail eggs because they tend to crack just by looking at them wrong. Oh, be quiet. It's one of my incubators, the Turner is turning. It's like, shh, <laughs> I'm filming right now. I don't need to know you're turning. So that's my other, my incubator that's below here is now turning its eggs and it likes to beep and tell me it's turning. There's a baby quail behind me making noise. Anyway, so that is how you candle and with quail eggs, Coturnix quail specifically, remember that's what we're covering right now. You candle them at day 10. Okay, discard anything you're not sure, like you're sure didn't develop. Keep the ones you're not sure of separate, but still in the incubator. And then keep the ones you are sure of, again, separate, but in the incubator. Now they're gonna go back in the incubator. We're gonna plug it all in again, and we're going to leave it for another four days. We will come back on day 14, and we will take a look, make sure everyone is on track, and we will do what's called lockdown. Lockdown is when we place the eggs into a hatcher, you can just use your regular incubator, but I'll talk more about that in the next video. But you place them in a hatcher and then you ignore them. So just a reminder, you should be hatching your Cotronix quail eggs at 99.5 Fahrenheit or 37.5 Celsius. My humidity right now in here is around 30%. I'm just looking at my um, hydrometer down here. So. My humidity in here is about 30%. I don't have to add water. I'll talk more about humidity and even temperature later on in a different video. Right now we're just going through the motions. But I don't add water to my incubators because it's already humid enough. Like 30% is more than enough for Cotronix quail eggs. You don't need to be at 45, 50, 55%. In fact, if you are that high, you run a risk of drowning your chicks before they even hatch. So. My humidity is relatively low compared to what some other people run, but I like it that way. It works for me. It works in the environment I am in. Um, that doesn't work for everybody. So not adding water is not something everyone can do. I can get away with it because it's already really humid here. Like no water in this incubator, no water except for the water for the baby chicks behind me is in this building at all. And it's 30% 30 30 humidity. So... I don't have to add water. So after you have double checked your temperature, double checked your humidity, make sure everything is functioning, you've candled your eggs, you're going to plug everything back in and leave your incubator alone for another four days. We will come back on day 14 and lock everybody down. Okay, that is our plan. Day 14, sometimes day 15, depending on how you hatch. I do it at day 14. So we'll come back on day 14, lock them down, and I will show you exactly how to do that. Then hopefully a few days after that, we'll have some baby quail running around. So that's about it for us here tonight at Anderson Acres. Tune in next time when we talk about lockdown. We'll see you tomorrow.